What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of doing a project on the laser, we're going to be doing some upgrades to the laser. So I just got the longer honeycomb in the mail. This uh, took a couple weeks to get. As some of you commented on the videos, um, some of the backings were pretty burnt on some of my projects. And yeah, they, they were. I'm a beginner. I didn't have all the parts. So I've been uh, getting a lot of use out of this MDF scrap sheet over here. But it's finally time to put this honeycomb together. We just have to pop this little sheet of... Uh, sheet metal in the back keep the laser from going through to the wood and then we can put it on the laser i've also installed a bit of a ventilation system here obviously as any of you guys know as soon as you uh go to do any cutting you smoke the place out pretty quick so if any of you are curious i can do a video on this thing later kind of show you how that works but i guess we'll get started on the honeycomb i'm going to do a little comparison um i've got some font typed out here we're going to cut out just no honey versus honey i'm just going to cut that onto a piece of uh, four by four sheet there and we'll see what the difference is. I think it's gonna be pretty good um, Everybody kind of swears by these as well as the air assist. I have an air assist coming soon So we'll put that uh, in place get it installed and see what the improvements look like So there's not much assembly required I don't know if I would even really call it assembly, but you just need to flip over the honeycomb Put the sheet metal on the back and then you just pop these little caps back on the corner and that is all there is to it it's uh, the only two pieces that come in the box so it's pretty easy to figure out and there we go that's our completed honeycomb all right so before we do the honeycomb test i'm going to laser the word no honey actually i'm going to cut it out on this sheet and then i'll do honey on the same sheet just so we can directly compare um so we'll go ahead and get that started just going to plug in the ventilation i put a plug right here i can just plug that in luckily i'm fairly tall i am going to make a little remote switch for that but uh this is a cool little box somebody was throwing this out but it moves around 200 cfm and then i just did an eight inch duct kind of right down over the laser and it seems to work pretty good so we will go ahead and hit start on the laser and get this cut. As you can see, most of the smoke is sucked up through that duct pipe. There is the odd little bit that gets by and it ends up in my garage, but it's not the end of the world. It uh, tends to filter it out eventually. Okay, and there we have our text. It says no honey. Let's see if we can... Yeah, it's a pretty good uh, cut speed. That's usually what I cut this stuff on, about 375 at 90% power. You can kind of play with that a little bit, but it's pretty reliable. On uh, some sheets with a little more glue in them, it tends to not cut through if I go much lower than that. So um, yeah, I'll get that punched out and then we're gonna do honeycomb right above this just so we can compare the results. Now, as most of you know, this is where you see the big difference is on the back, you get a lot of that uh, burning because the heat from the laser just has nowhere to go. So. That's where the honeycomb comes in. It really lets the laser sort of dissipate the heat beyond the workpiece and gives you a better finished product. All right, I'm just getting it set up to make the cut on the honeycomb. As you can see, that's a lot more professional looking than a couple pieces of scrap wood and cardboard and junk like that. So uh, we do have to reset the height. I just got it set here with the default uh, little aluminum stock there that you get included with your laser. So hopefully you haven't lost that. So we'll go ahead and cut the word honey on here and see what it looks like. Okay, and there is the finished cut with the honeycomb. I ended up writing honeyco instead of just honey just to kind of fill the space a little bit better. But yeah, as you can see, huge difference. And that's on the same cut speed. And I'll just show you my cut settings. 375 at 90, so exact same cut speed and settings, but huge difference in the quality on the back of the piece of wood. That's pretty awesome. So uh, you do need to clean these every now and then. You can see there's sort of smoke residue in there already. So um, I guess you do have to sort of get them maybe in a laundry sink or something, give them a good wash. I'm not 100% sure the best way to clean those, but at least they are easy to take apart. Maybe you could take it outside with the hose and give it a wash. I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. I'm in Canada, so it's pretty cold here right now. But yeah, those are really awesome results. So I've got a couple other little projects out here just to uh, 
have a look at the difference. So honestly, if you are thinking at all about trying to make um, custom names or decorations and sell them like on Marketplace or just your local flea markets, I would say definitely invest the money in the honeycomb table. It drastically improves the back of the, uh, the work piece. So if you were going to paint them, that's one thing. But um, if you're just going for the natural look, I don't think you can really go without it. Um, I have the 400 by 400 here. They go for $89.99. The larger one is $109 and there's a smaller one for $54. So I will have a link to all of them below, hopefully a discount code as well. Um, yeah, I really can't believe the difference. So uh, I am going to be trying out the Air Assist as well. I've got the Air Assist open here. So that's in the mail. I'm going to be getting that hooked up and trying that out. I believe that helps with some of the scorching on the front of the project. So that'll be nice to get rid of that. Uh, I think it makes it a little faster and a little better at cutting as well. Don't quote me on that. But once I get it set up, we will uh, have a look and do another comparison video. So I'm going to end the video off there. I know you guys like the short and sweet right to the point. That's how I like them too. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.